yesterday I got a package in the mail. You know, I always go to the AAD meeting every year, but obviously this year it was canceled because of the pandemic. At that meeting, I typically get several freebies and I always like sharing them with you. But I guess um, because I was registered, they went ahead and sent um, a little freebie goodie bag that came in the mail yesterday. So I thought I would share it with you. Clinical Strength Secret. This is a antiperspirant with 20% um, aluminum zirconium tetrachlorohydrox. Old Spice, ew, I like the smell of Old Spice. Um, can you see? And then we have Gillette. I actually enjoy wearing men's deodorant sometimes, antiperspirant. Yeah, so, you know, when it comes to sweat, this is a little tip for you guys. I always have told you all in several videos on using antiperspirants, that the way the antiperspirant works is that the aluminum trickles down into the eccrine sweat gland, like in your armpit, and it interacts with mucopolysaccharides within the sweat duct lining to create damage there and then the sweat duct, sweat duct plugs up and it's recommended to put the antiperspirant on at nighttime because the rate of sweat outflow out of that duct is lower at nighttime so you have less sweat pushing the aluminum out it can trickle down in there and and do its thing and you also don't have to use them necessarily every night in order to have good control of of excessive sweating um, for example, if you apply the antiperspirant every night for a week um, at bedtime, uh, that is usually enough to get it to plug up enough sweat ducts to get good control of the, of the uh, excessive sweating. And then after that, you only need to use that one or two nights a week. I think people are, like, like with soap, I think people are overzealous with antiperspirant use because they think if they keep lathering more, slathering more on the armpit that they're gonna get better uh, sweat control and, and you're not. Especially people put it on like that in the morning, then they start sweating and it pushes all of the aluminum out and then you just have a bunch of fragrance and aluminum sitting on the surface of the skin which is super irritating. We also got, oh, I just fired up my uh, washing machine. So we have a little freebie here of Dawn, what is this, not Dawn, Downy, I know, I don't use fabric softener. Uh, we got a Downy free and gentle sample and a Tide Pod free and gentle. Cool, I don't think I've ever used the Tide free and gentle. I use uh, the Arm and Hammer sensitive skin, that, that's the one I love. And then I also like, the Nelly's fragrance-free uh, laundry detergent. We got a Gillette razor. I will probably use this to shave my upper lip. Um, people always ask me, do I still shave my face? I don't, um, mostly because I forget to, and it's just like, I don't know. It doesn't really fit into my routine, so I don't really bother to do it, but I do shave my upper lip from time to time. Um, I have a lot of peach fuzz. I don't have like coarse terminal hairs, fortunately. My skin becomes irritated rather easily. If I keep up with it, it starts to be too irritating. And also it can cause little tiny ingrown hair. So I don't do it that much, but it certainly is an option if you have, if you are a female with facial hair. And obviously if you're a man with facial hair, you, yeah, duh. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely an option. And no, it doesn't make the hair grow back thicker or darker or anything like that. You will have stubble because it cuts it at a blunt end and a lot of people don't like that, but um, it is an option. And you certainly can use men's razors. I, I think they they tend to be a little better than women's because they're, they're designed to deal with all of the convexities and, and concavities of the face. Who we got an Olay Rinse Off Body Conditioner. Now, this is a moisturizer that you wash off basically I, that makes no sense to me i guess like maybe this is is this one of those things that some of the ingredients are released in the like whatever the technology is through exposure to water maybe yeah it's water it, it, the ingredients are petrolatum fragrance of course niacinamide and shea butter i don't get it anyways got that and then it looks like Head and Shoulders make, is making a big appearance here. 
We got smooth and silky. I'm not sure what the... So this is head and shoulders formulation for keeping the hair from being frizzy, the smooth and silky. Comment below and if you guys have used this, but you know, the active ingredient in these is zinc pyrithion, which is great for uh, not only dandruff, but it's, um, you know, the other related condition, uh, seborrheic dermatitis on the face. You can actually use anti-dandruff shampoos as like a face wash, just lather it onto the skin, let it sit on there for a few minutes and then rinse it off. Um, it will help with that. And then we also got a classic clean. This one is more drying for sure. Comment below on if you guys use this, but I find this one's pretty drying. The moisture renewal line. Oh, cool. We've got, we've got the shampoo and conditioner. You guys know, as I mentioned in other videos, coconut oil helps reduce high girl fatigue. And so one of the issues with anti-dandruff shampoos, especially for people with more textured hair, is that while they're great for, for cleansing the scalp, which is the purpose of shampooing in general, they leave the hair shock really unmanageable. And so the conditioner aspect of that is kind of helping to remedy some of the issues with shampooing. Now this product is something that you can use if you're someone who, who can't, whose hair doesn't do well with sh you know frequent shampooing. Um, this is zinc pyrithion that you massage into the scalp. Um, it says you can use it up to four times a day and you leave it on there. It's, it's moisturizing. Unfortunately, of course, it has fragrance, which becomes more problematic, as I've said, in leave-on products. And it also has peppermint oil, which is designed to tingle and create a sensory experience and make you think that it's doing something, which it actually is, but the tingling is just the peppermint oil. So that's cool. We got that stuff. All right. Yeah, I'm sad I didn't get to go to the AAD this year. I was gonna be in Denver and I was all registered and everything. And you, you guys know I went to med school in Colorado. Um, and so I was really looking forward to going back just, you know, to see my little stomping grounds. But whatevs. Lucky to be alive, healthy, and, you know, well. So I'm not complaining, but it is kind of unfortunate. I always enjoy that. Well, hey guys, what's up? I am on my way out to run Arons, and it is so steamy out. It's like a sauna out. <laughs> my sunglasses are even steaming up. Yeah, I'm going to the Croge, and by Croge, I mean Kroger. I haven't been there in a while, and then of course I'm gonna go to the club. So prior to going out, I um, checked Ibotta for what deals are going on. You guys asked me a fair amount, like, how do I keep track of all of the coupon savings? They're not coupons, they're just like savings rebate apps that I'm always yammering on and on about. I do I do some of them, it, it kind of just depends on the store or the nature of the shopping. For groceries, like at Kroger and Costco, that's gonna be Ibotta. Ibotta is a rebate app where you basically scan your receipts and get cash back on just certain items. You don't get much. It's, you know, it's more of a game. It's kind of fun. Over the years, I've, I've racked up quite a bit. But anyways, so yeah, when I go to Kroger or Costco, I'm gonna be using Ibotta for those purchases in the grocery store, because Ebates, Drop, and ShopTagger, they don't apply to those merchants. But if I'm going to Walmart, I will stack, um, I will stack Drop and Ibotta because Ibotta, you just have a hard copy of the receipt and then you scan that in. But Drop uh, actually is linked to, to like your card and stuff. And then ShopTagger and Ebates is stuff that I use on online. ShopTagger, I pretty much, I don't really use it for like, getting cash back I use it more for just keeping track of stuff that's like sold out and because it notifies you when things come back in or if there's something that I want to buy that um, I want to like get the best deal on obviously that kind of helps me figure that out but when I actually buy stuff online then I'm activating Ebates which is a cash back rebate app that will uh, it's a browser extension for online purchases that then gives you cash back from online purchases. And that bad boy, I swear, is the one that I get the most cash back. It's 
It's the Night at the Roxbury song. <laughs> I love that movie. I've seen it like 20 times, you guys. It's not a toy, it's a club with a jungle theme. Amy and her collection of soups. Mm. Dairy-free bisque. Is a veggie one? No. Costco has a biggie size of the Bioderma micellar water. $16.49. I've reviewed this for you guys in the past. I'm not a fan of micellar waters because they leave behind a residue on the skin. So if you use them, which is fine, I recommend doing a second cleanse with an actual cleanser so that the so that the uh, residue isn't left behind on the skin. But this one's pretty good. And it's nice that it's got the the little pump. <laughs> oh, I saw um, a YouTuber, I was always some YouTubers are always raving about the Ziploc, like, bags for your purse. I don't carry that much stuff with me, but they're kind of cute. Olay Complete, SPF 15. That is too low for, for you, to, too low to be useful, but hey, at least it's a fragrance-free moisturizer. This isn't a bad deal. A bad deal. This isn't a bad deal. You get these two for eleven ninety-nine. That's that's a pretty good price point here. Let's put it back in its slot. Copper Town Sport. I know that one has fragrance in it, but I believe it's not this one. Copper Town makes a sport sunscreen that. As bad as it is, a, you know, as much as I would prefer it not to have fragrance, it is quite good for sweaty conditions. It's like this gel. Um, ooh, one over, one over great. Yeah, it's like this gel. It's, it's pretty good. Ooh, storage bins. These are always convenient to have on hand, but I don't need that. Sheridan Vented Echo Umbrella, $9.99. Those are pretty patterns, although that kind of looks like the type that just gets turned inside out readily. I personally detest umbrellas for purposes of rain because they get wet and then you have like the drippy umbrella and plus they always, they're just a pain to carry around. These are those organizing bins that I was alluding to in a blog a while back where like everything looks so nice and perfect when you put everything in to get organized but then as soon as you go to the grocery store you have an uneven number of foods it just goes to goes out the window. Starbucks pods for the Nespresso. Hazelnut. Instant. Hot. You guys, <laughs> Bird Rock Home Two Pack Grabber Tool Set. This is what you all were trying to um, inform me about when I was soliciting feedback for how to change my light bulb during uh, Uber distancing when the maintenance team couldn't come in. I ended up getting a ladder just because of the nature of the light bulbs, but they have a two pack here. At Costco for $12.99. Oh, these are so handy if you uh hang stuff frequently. Have a bit of a phobia, not phobia, but just like resistance to putting holes in the wall. Command hooks are the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. <laughs> it's an exaggeration, FYI. Ooh, rechargeable LED lights. Those are convenient. $30 for the three pack. All right, so from Costco, I got some romaine and then the power greens. Haven't had those in a while, as well as some squash. I am hooked on these bear chips. So I got another bag of those. And then this was on good old Ibotta. So I'm gonna get a rebate on these Zespri kiwi, gold, kiwi fruit sun golds. Been totally jiving on the strawberries. So I got two uh, things of strawberries and these two are on Ibotta right now. Uh, so I'm gonna get quite a bit already from Costco. Honeydew, a cantaloupe. <laughs> um, and then from Kroger, I have been wanting to try this Love Grown Power O's original cereal. 
And this is currently on Ibotta and it was on sale at Kroger. Like I had a coupon for it, so it was like really inexpensive. Normally it's pricey, um, but it's just uh, made out of bean, bean flour, like a blend of navy beans, lentils, garbanzo, and then brown rice flour. I don't know, this has always seemed intriguing to me. It has six grams of protein, only one gram of sugar, and unlike most cereals, they actually give you a serving as opposed to like most cereals is like a quarter of a cup and you're like, who eats a quarter of a cup of cereal? This was also on, um, on Ibotta, the Almond Breeze. Um, you can get cash back off of any size. And you guys know I would never disgrace coffee with something something as foul as creamer. I love my coffee black. But I have heard good things about these nut pods and I've seen several recipes online for homemade vegan ice creams that involve non-dairy uh, creamer, coffee creamers. So I thought I would try these and <laughs> Guess what? They are on Ibotta likewise. So I got the hazelnut flavor and the caramel flavor. Caramel, caramel, however you choose to say it. But yeah, both of these are vegan and no sugar. I have no idea what they're going to taste like, but we'll give them a gozy. And then these also were on Ibotta. I love these sparkling ice drinks, but I don't get them that much because they're kind of expensive. Um, but I got the coconut limeade flavor and the crisp apple. So I just scanned my receipt into Ibotta from Kroger and I got $2.75 back. Woohoo! I told you, you're not gonna get wealthy on this thing, but it's fine. So, good news. I just read that it seems as if the library is slowly starting to reopen. They're introducing some kind of a like book bundle thing that you can get where you can reserve a bundle of books rather than going into the library and browsing. So I might have to hit that up because I am seriously going through library withdrawal. You guys know I love going in the library and just like browsing and getting books and I just feel like an emptiness without a library. So I'm, maybe I'll, I'll have to hit that up. Anyways, remember in last weekend's vlog, I told you guys that I purchased some little outfits for my Welly Wisher doll on Etsy. So as promised, I'll show you what I got. Margot's still chilling like a villain over here in her little denim jumper. So cute. Anyways. about ready to go to sleep. I thought I would wrap up the vlog here. I'm getting the uh, no more battery light, so I better end it. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.